en Cuba. Número 3. Yeah, man. I, I saw that shoot, man. How was that, man? Talk to us about that, bro. The pictures yeah. came out on fire, man. Yeah, thank you, man. That was actually quite fun. Um, so this company called B um B Code, you know, so they launched this magazine. They have Havana's Adidas and Skechers underneath them. And they selected like four models for the shoot. Um, but obviously, me and this girl called RFI, we made the cover. So I think ours are just we just like fit together, whatever to do. But yeah, it was fire, man. Adidas sneakers, they came through. It was dope, but it looked really good, man. Well, I was set for like six, seven hours. I took like, I was taking like 40 pictures. And what they, what they selected, they didn't even let me know until the day before. Like, yo, this was coming out like a year. Wow. And yeah, it was good. Some to take off your, your, your bucket list. For sure, man. It was year, man. Like, you know, having that out in February. Just a set place, like, okay, this is what I'm trying to do this year on the modeling side. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, man. Fair. But what about you? What's night saying? Routine. Routine, <laughs> man, for real. So, I things, mean, like, open. There's nothing, like, just, you know, crazy happening like that. Uh-huh. Routine. Nothing crazy, but Excel is looking nice. <laughs> Excel looking smoky. <laughs> See, guy, guy, watching people like have a good time on Alki is the funniest thing ever. If you're sober, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the boss is on a sober vibe now. Yes, sir. He's on a what? Sober, strictly like no more cocaine, nothing. Just oh, okay, slight, no more gang gang. <laughs> how how drippy does he look though? Don't watch me. Watch me. <laughs> that's heavy drip. That's but, a good, that's a good look, man. It's your shades. I'm rocking with them. Yeah. Those are already white. Ages ago. <laughs> I was I was some Gucci ones like that. I might as well post them to you. <laughs> I can send you these ones because you're rocking them well. Yeah, no, you're actually rocking them heavy. Well, ah, God, when I grow up, I want to be like Bash, Flea guy. Mad, it's, a, it's a contrast from the dark colors and then just the white makes it pop out. And then you got the chains and that, you know, the. Yeah, are you, are you, are you, are you, <laughs> wait, bias. it's the next move to get a uh, a 24 million diamond on your forehead. <laughs> is that is that the next move? <laughs> um, you know, so if I actually want to say, well, literally, I don't think that's cool. Do you think that's cool? Of course not. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, I don't know. Okay, cool. I just, just like, I don't know, it's cool. That's the, it's the height of like, Having so, it's either having so much money or not knowing what to do next or trying to create too much cloud. I don't even know. It's crazy. But it's not even from whole mill. That's the other thing that irritates me. You said why? What's going on with Meek? Like why is he taking so many L's? I just so far I was gonna say that was gonna be my first. They like why? I don't get it too. Like I was not even asked fresh. Like yeah. why is he taking so much L's? It's crazy. To go. Yeah, man. I mean, he, he is on the I mean, I think he's back on pills and all the perks. <laughs> oh, for real. My yeah, perk was set. You know, you know, he admitted as in that like, he was on that, which is why he was tweaking that last time. Then he said, yeah. He went, I feel like now he's back on it. I That's feel like, crazy. You know, Bahamas, all, all you know, the trips he has been taking this whole year, last year. I feel like he has been popping a bit more, man, for real. I, I I don't know. I think it's just like he just doesn't know. I don't know if he knows how to just move when he gets on a different like plateau. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think he is that he gets excited easily. That's what I'm saying. Like he's on a level where like certain things should be a brush off the shoulder, yeah. but he's paying too much attention to things because he's actually on a boss level. Like you can't be hanging out with Jay Z. What's that guy's name from um the Patriots? Um, oh, kind of you, you can't be hanging out with those guys and. Be giving them six nine. No, it doesn't make any sense. It's just Raj. You the bitch, nigga. I f you up, nigga. You the bitch, nigga. All y'all niggas, f niggas. 
you guys rap about all these things all day. How you see an op is on site, you do this you're in front of a rap. <laughs> oh, so wow. Doing things to you, right? Literally, arms length away from you. Nothing is happening. People are just screaming, and he's saying, Yo, police, him to his security. It's like, bro, it's meant to be on site. <laughs> the rap was right. Like, we saw what he was safari. They actually brought safari broad daylight. Like, bro, come on, man. Well, Something me, me, about that to catch his vision. Something should have happened. But me, hmm. you say, me pretend he doesn't want to play with his freedom. You don't want to play with the freedom, man. Don't talk about, don't ever say anything about snitching or rats or, you know what I'm saying? Leave all that for whoever is about it. Hmm. That's what it He is. definitely needs a different approach for sure. Definitely. Because his approach, his approach play for now is just like, like, guy, yeah, like, you can't, Yo. you have to ignore certain things and actually like pay attention to what you're trying to achieve. It's kind of, it's just weird. Yo, before all these street rappers started really taking off, Nick was like one of the first street rappers to like really like take off like over the last like 10 years, right? Mm. His music has always been very aggressive, very street oriented. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. It's always a letdown when we actually see his actions. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, like, nah, man, nah, nah. Too many mess up, man. Too many. It's just a big disappointment. But do you, do you think that's how it should be? Like, the fact that <clears throat> as an artist, if you're not about a certain life anymore, um, that all of a sudden you can't rap about X, Y, Z again? Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like, nah, nah, I don't think so. I feel like I always rap about what you've gone through. Nah, because you rapped about what you've gone through over the last 10 mixtapes and three albums. Yeah. But you're older now, you're chilling with white billionaires, you're doing things, you've gone to jail, you've come out, you're helping with reform, you're putting artists on, blah, blah, blah. Leave all that street up. Like, bro, come on, man. I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure, like, Jay-Z I was still about gives to say, that, yeah. Little, that, yeah, that little nudge sometimes, like, yo. Jay's different, man. Let me tell you something here. Yeah. Jay wasn't even really about what Meek was about. They all came from mm. cool. Jay sold drugs here and they're cool. But Jay was never really on this whole aggressive, violent type of vibe. Meek sold aggression. He sold when I see it's on sites. He sold and from yeah. Philly, anything happens. Jay sold, I sold crack, I made cheese, and I'm a business guy. Fair. The artists that are still on that whole aggressive feel like Jim Jones, them, they're still about it till today. <laughs> Jim Jones is. You heard? Jim Jones is You're about it yeah. in his 40s. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? So I try to say Mikhail should just stop rapping about that completely. Literally, just like you can rap about like different things. I feel like you've seen life enough, man. Like mm. you've seen enough. Like, come on, man. Funny enough, 50 is about aggression. And if 50 was in that position, I think he would have he would have done something. See, man, we saw what 50 did with Slowbox on Summer Jam stage. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Two days that shit on stage. We saw what 50 I was, did. I was still rapping. Yeah. <laughs> you know, 50 did was it a um, couple weeks ago when um this that guy that's always trying to rap to him pulled up yeah, on him yeah, yeah. trying to rap to 50 smashing the chairs ready yeah. we saw that like we saw how 50 reacting like we saw when 50 was trying to um when he was telling trap to get off the that Mika had to come and talk to him and this is 50 now and we've seen this, and this fifty was gone past hundred m, come back down, gone back up. Like Meek has not even reached that level of stardom. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying so. I, I feel like Meek should even just bro to the point okay, where so he started even trying to just do like normal like songs. People be like, nah, we don't want this from me. Okay, so if if the industry or like that American whatever rap is um um. Money, guns, drugs, violence, sex. Yeah. What other topics do you have? You can see because, thing, so the reason I'm asking yeah. this is because Pusha is long gone away from cocaine. Yes. And, you know, mixing the free bass. Yes. Because, you know, big boy in, you know, Miami, 305, whatever, yeah. is long gone there, but he evolved into making music and sometimes, you know, he still dabbles back into his drug, local, whatever. Yeah. But Pusha is like literally vivid cocaine yeah. rap. For so sure. money, drugs, violence. Where does Meek 
where does and sex where does where does meat go struggle rapper the pain like rapper what it, like what it took you to you want to get to the point where you're chilling with billionaires rap about how you lost how you almost got evicted do you know what i'm yeah. saying Talk yeah. about how you tried this business, but it didn't work out. But you invested this here and it clicks for you. About how you put this guy on. Do you feel me? Like, let's feel like that. Me, like to me, yeah, uh, me, like his heartfelt songs before all these guys started, like doing this also tune singing about like the struggle. Meek was already in that lane like four or five years ago, bro. 90, 1942, one of my favorite Meek songs. You know what I'm saying? Like, just own that P, man. Like, bro, that's when Meek's at his best to me, man. I can't even lie. I also think maybe foresight. So, for example, coming out of jail and not having a movie about that. Yeah. And mm. an album to tell that story. For sure. I think, I think you missed out on one. 100%, man. Like, bro. Um, maybe because storytelling or the art form or whatever, you know, is missing in today's industry or whatever, or music yeah. today. But that's something that Rose would have loved to happen to him in modern day. Because yeah. you can maximize, like me came out of jail into a helicopter one time. Do you know what I mean? When he came out of a helicopter, like Beyonce and everyone was talking about free me. Like he was always trending every other day on Twitter. Of like, course. News, like just everyone was like waiting for me to come out. He came out. I don't know how he didn't capitalize off that, man. I don't get it. Uh, do you think like the rap game now is becoming more like a reality show where it's not about the music, it's about like, these characters in this weird show. I, think I definitely think so for, yeah, yeah. I think so for an extent because like, for example, you have some like rappers that are literally like, I'm not going to say they're clowns, but the way like they act, it's not about the music, the art, you know, you know, like, it's more about like, you know, how can I get viral? How can I be the hardest thing for the week? You know what I mean? It's like, it's crazy. Mm. I feel like this has always been the case, man. Just feel like times have just changed so much. Like, Back then, when people were doing like when people were doing how to rob or game or Joe Biden, just just send twenty people at once. Hmm. They're doing it for a reaction, right? Mm. Yeah, but they were doing it through music, whereas this is just through video or like. Yeah, but know. now it's like now everything counts towards music. Niggas are doing the most retarded things, trolling on TikTok, and you see tomorrow now. TikTok now goes towards album sales. This thing now goes towards everything's just getting packaged right now into one thing. I feel, but, and some people balance it very well. Someone like the baby, he's such a comedian. He has like Boosie. Obviously, times change, but how do you guys feel about you know being progressive with the times, but being from a different era of authenticity, but what, what we thought was authentic in that era was actually, you know, in hindsight may have also been a game. So like Twitter beefs or whatever, what we would have thought could have been organic, yeah, but now in hindsight might have actually been, you know, the you know how the music game is. But how do you guys feel about this whole meme, TikTok and, you know, um, Trilla or whatever, comedy style, whatever, Black Bones, um, Doja Cat, I think she's a TikToker, right? Black Bones, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion, and whoever else does that in mind. How do you guys feel about that and adapting to it creatively? I feel like if you're, if naturally you're just a funny person that's kind of like a bit weird, people may think you're trolling, but it's just the real you. Like Copy, I think Copy is act in real life, she's really that funny and crazy. And sometimes she's actually very weird. So when, when it's like online, it's like, it feels like she's acting, but that's really how she is. And yeah. in this kind of market, they are soaking everything up and they just, her interactions are ridiculous now. Do you know what I'm saying? For someone with that type of talent level, not even as if she's a mad singer or dancer, but just as a personality, people are just always attracted to anything she does because of all these things. She doesn't even do skits. <laughs> but it's <like> herself. <laughs> but it's just like funny. And it's just weird as I, like, uh, but people still talk about it. Mm. You have guys like Black Bones who are actually planning things out, make, trying to make people laugh intentionally, having props, getting other people involved in videos. His own is very intentional. And his own helps with music because after every video, you just see blah, 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 this song out now and they play the song or something crazy. Mm. So he actually is known for promoting his music. You have guys like Files who are natural like comedians. You understand what I'm saying? Who are actors? Who, so do you understand? 
But I feel like as far as the whole TikTok um, trend, not everything should be a challenge. Like people are just trying to force dances on every song. It's pretty mm. tempting, man, bro. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I just miss back there. Like, imagine if Pump It Up came out now. You wouldn't have started doing Pump It Up dance. Mm. Or but like, back, uh, then, crunch, 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 like crunch the song that. back then, the song would just be placed in it. Just serve or step up, and people just dance. I, I tell, I tell you who would actually have made the most bar if he dropped songs now. Soldier Boy, like imagine, like yeah, <laughs> you'll have over cash down, man. Definitely off the charts. In fact, they can still do it. Crank that challenge now. <laughs> yeah, for, exactly. That's how it's crazy. He wouldn't have so many dance type songs, and yeah, man. So. So you say like he was actually like a pilot. <laughs> no, he was the first to do it. He was the first. You know, Soda Boy was actually the first artist to be big on YouTube ever. Yeah, 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 for sure. Wow. Like he literally, man, ringtone that whole thing on YouTube. Like Soda Boy was even, he was, he was so big on the website before MySpace. It was called wow. SoundClick. Do you guys know about SoundClick? No. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was like the first ever like sound click. Oh, is it like yeah. LimeWire? No, before LimeWire. Oh right. So and like it was so big there. So now I'm MySpace because MySpace could actually upload videos because that one was just about audio. Mm. Every beat he made every beat on his first album. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember him. I remember like them like saying those kind of things. That he made yeah, it was so unheard of, bro. Imagine being sixteen, signing to Interscope. Yeah, so, so basically, so that boy started everything. That's it. Everything. That's it. Going viral. He was the first to get a lot of money off a label at that young age. He was the first to have like a dance. First, Do you understand? Yeah, crazy. it's crazy. Drake. 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 <laughs> Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <girl. laughs> Drake, Drake was coming on Disney Channel when Soldier Boy came out. See, one of my favorite Drake songs at the time that uh, nigga we made it. Soldier Boy made beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's a good show. Different on different levels, man, bro. On different levels. I mean, it doesn't he have his own like games console as well? Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I mean. No. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't he make a lot of money from it? I don't know. I, I doubt it, though. Of course not. Obviously, guy. for those who don't know, guys that come in there. Yeah. So sweet in that tech space, man. Very sweet. You know, what are you doing? I'm, I actually like the, the tech music relationship because think about... Come in there, sorry, just to chip in. He invested in an online video talent agency, but I'm, I'm not sure that's it. It's probably more. But Fresh Air Carrier. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, the music slash tech relationship is actually brilliant because obviously, all the DSP and all these things like tech based, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, distribution. Like, imagine the guys that had the foresight from like back then with like where music was going to go and how everything was going to be digital and all that, bro. Even back then, when Jay was it like what you know, um, the Carter, where as soon as you had like this Samsung, he just sold like a million or something first day. But sometimes, don't you think that that is because uh, when you're on the highest level of, of whatever field you're in, you sort of get um, information earlier. So other than obviously, if you're if you're on a normal level and you have uh, foresight or you 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 make a, a an intelligent guess that oh I, I see this is where this is going or whatever, then that's cool. But don't you think a lot of times those moves are made by are easier for those guys who are in in high places because they have information. I actually don't think so. I think it's about the agents or managers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah they're no, team of, about the artists. Because no, that's no, a, no, the team of people, it's, it's, it's high end. Like What I'm saying now is that, let's say like the guy that did that thing with Jay and Samsung or whatever, just start realizing that, wait, so there's this guy called Black Youngster, for example, who's not a list, right? It's not even a worldwide act, yeah? Mm-hmm. Let's say, like, they'll see that, oh, this song could really get viral and it could blow on this platform. I just give him crazy bread for that song. Do you feel me? So I feel like sometimes about this song, because certain songs actually work on certain platforms. No, but the, point, again. the point is, before, obviously, now, there's been a Pandora's box has been opened, so now everyone can see this multiple. But I'm saying at the time when Jay did that, that was unheard of. Of course, at that time, obviously, you have to have a lot of fans to even pull that kind of thing off. 
Yeah, that will make people want to download the app on this phone and all that kind of random stuff. So yeah, that was unheard of. Speak, speaking of Jay, do, do you, is it surprising that Title did not sponsor the versus thing? I found that a bit strange. That they didn't do what? They didn't sponsor the versus thing since obviously him and Swizz are guys. Everything's black. There's black, black businesses, black empowerment, and obviously Timberland. And Swiss Beats, they come up with this whole versus thing during quarantine. It's doing well. But as it kept on getting bigger, eventually it gets sponsored by Apple. Yeah, Apple's bigger. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure like, they still made money from it because there's no reason why Jay-Z would go to Swiss's house and be like, no, no, no. Swiss is no, 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 but this guy that's talking art. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, Swiss is an art connoisseur. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, I, yeah, but I don't, I don't think Jay's making money off. Versus at all. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, art. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, this- Apple is bigger than Tidal now. Yeah, I, I'm, sure, not, yeah. I'm not saying it's not, but if he made them an offer mm. and they're all in the business world, there would be ways that they too can make, they can all make cheese. Do you know what I mean? It's not like oh, they'll sorry. do it with Tidal and it'll be, do you know what I mean? No one's going to make money. They can still make money yeah. off of it. But I'm just saying with the whole black businesses and that whole narrative, how come? Title wasn't the go-to, yeah. or how come? Maybe if they went to the title, how come they weren't able to finalize X, Y, Z? Yeah, we've seen we've seen this a lot of times where you'd be wondering why G is not involved or why Title is involved in this project or blah blah. Because like, Title, they have actually been doing so bad for the longest. Like um, as far as between them, Spotify and Apple, they're like the least by far. They first came out with the biggest buzz, having Nikki. And everyone was around the table posting Lady Gaga, whoever. And we're just so on the were on the um, performing after Do you get what I'm saying? Even though they have the best sound? They do have the best sound. They do have you know, they used to have exclusive content behind the scenes to concerts, exclusive J album, blah blah blah. But I just feel like I think to- they just got the whole formula wrong. Like if you if you're trying to pitch all oh, we we're gonna give you the best hi-fi music. Yeah. Like that that doesn't mean anything. Like they're packaging, like how are you gonna package an artist selling themselves on their streaming platform? They got it completely wrong. Apple Spotify Spotify is king, so I all know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So Spotify literally like they, they kept on evolving, like in terms of like, okay, you can now do it easier this way. Like, for example, if you're an artist and you're trying to do it from scratch on Apple music, put yourself on Apple music seeing your stats like it's much more easier on spotify like it's like a like a, an ecosystem the ecosystem just works easier for me personally mm. <laughs> and i do actually pay the most i actually don't even know why people are not running for title but yeah so how do you feel if jay sells it do you feel like the black i think he will sell it what this guy like should buy it now the Facebook guy, I think that they were talking about it. Was it just that guy? One of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard that as well. Yeah, if, yeah. That happens, if that happens, do you feel like as black people, we've lost a home or we've lost a a team in this arena that's competing? Would you would that affect you psychologically? Would you feel like that? <laughs> At all. Like you wouldn't care. I wouldn't care, man. You could sell titles to Chinese people. I don't I actually. Huh. Care. For like five billion dollars. Yeah, I, I feel like because like bro, black owned things for some weird reason, like they just don't last like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know why. Think about it. Yeah, even Sean John that was owned by Diddy, he's suing them. Like but but that's okay, music um um clothing wise, like in terms of like you know, clothing lines, you can always build brands, you know, you sell it, you build up, you build it, you build up to a high level, you sell it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that that has always happened, but I kind of feel like with with this tech space, do you know what I mean? Like generational wealth, all that stuff. Yeah. It's like man, guy, we're actually competing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't even know, like because I feel like even with tech and fashion, I don't even see any black company competing with these white guys, man. They've been doing it for way too long, man. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, we're always going to be behind. Always. In any space. Think about it, like, like any space. In even any alcohol, space? Even alcohol. Like, what, like, name something that's part of this hip-hop culture that Black people are literally way, like, more successful than the white people. Rock. 
I don't think Ciroc actually sells more than Belvedere. Belvedere may be the highest selling vodka. Bel- no, Ciroc is taking over. Ciroc may be the most popular now and Diddy obviously here, but he doesn't even own 100% of Ciroc. Take it, Ciroc, yeah, he owns 100 now, but that was part of his deal when he first took over, which which I believe was like 50% to start or whatever. And then once they become the number one, he gets the rest or whatever. Something along those lines. Check it out. They, they're definitely the highest, which is why I think he's now on to um, pushing uh, his Delion tequila again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ciroc is definitely the highest, though. How true is this? What do you mean, Smirnoff? <laughs> Smirnoff may be number one. I would say Belvedere. Maybe uh-huh. Smirnoff, bro. What does that mean, Smirnoff? This thing's have been here for decades. Russians, uh-huh. Europe, everybody, like, before Ciroc came through. No, these guys are rigging. What's number two? <laughs> they are rigging the system. Does it even allow me to? Oh yeah, Smirnoff. Of course, Smirnoff will be number one. No? <laughs> why, why do they? Why do why, when rappers or whatever did they enter? Why did they say we're the number one selling or blah blah blah? And then obviously, yeah, I'm I don't know, bro. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, people, it's like, it's like music. You could drop an album and if everybody goes crazy to buy it on Apple, it could be number one for 20 minutes and you, you are still number one. Mm, yeah. So when Diddy was saying Rock was number one, it could be number one that day on that moment and then... <laughs> on that day in that in uh, in Dallas, Texas <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, was Diddy, Diddy, Diddy is the biggest marketing ever, man. Oh, that's uh, my girl's Kim. Oh my god. Are <laughs> uh, Yeezys washed now? Does it have the same effect? Does the Gap deal need to revitalize the Yeezy brand? By the way, I don't yeah, think... just... What do you I say? Don't... I don't think that Gap deal is going to click again. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, because the hype was so much at the time, and by mm-hmm. now something else should have happened, man. I don't even feel, even like no offense to more or anything, but I feel like everything has started with that whole thing, thing to and all that. Definitely don't see it happening. But well, yes, is there right. any any impact from? I just, I just the don't even thing? see Kanye gap or anything like that happen again. I feel like the deal is actually just done with, and no one just knows yet. Do you know how many collaborations and stuff that people have hyped and celebrities have spoken about that just never came out? Mm. So, many, man. so many. What, because the product wasn't good? It's not even about that, man. It's just like, you know, Kanye is really going through some serious stuff, man. <laughs> mm. Divorce and, and everything. It's just, guy, yeah, man, these niggas, they will take, again, the white people, they will just take it back from you, man. Mm. Uh-uh. Gap, you want to play with Gap? Do you know when Gap? <laughs> yeah, it's like a <laughs> it's like institution. Gap. Let's not get it twisted. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So, but yeah, man, hopefully it still clicks just for more sake. Yeah, yeah. never for Kanye anymore. Just like you're one of our people, she's actually in that position, and I hope it just clicks for her. But mm. Kanye just seems like he just messes up things up, man. I can see him just arguing with his management, his family. Just that guy just upside down. But would you say that's would you say that's due, due to him or just due to um, the current climate of the world? I just feel like I feel like when people used to say that he never got over his mom's death, I actually kind of believe that. You know, him moving to LA, him even just marrying Kim, that whole family, that whole circle. Bro, this guy had soul from Chicago, like survived accidents, like was a student of the game. Like he couldn't, he couldn't literally take an L at, at, at the point for like years back to back. Mm. Now, you know, now sometimes we question what Kanye dropped. We're seeing him on stage ranting, just canceling tours. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Just very, bro, it's too much now. Mm. Too much. Uh-huh. I saw something yesterday that said um, moving on from something is different from dealing with something. Yeah. I was like, whoa. So it hasn't you know, up, man. Like, you've seen Kanye tweets about Ray and Kim, like this is your wife, and this thing's still bothering you. Every-. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man is too insecure. Like, we all have experiences, but his own has been for the world to see. Well, he's he told us from the jump, you know what I mean? The guys at the highest level with the most insecure. 
Yeah, I'm not sure now, but uh, so bias, are you saying Yeezys are washed? I'm just saying like the, the hype of Yeezys in like when they first came out, yeah. it's not the same as, as now for sure. And I feel like I'm just basically saying that like, it needs like a new like you know how like those three fifties came out and everyone was on hype, like everyone was like people are dying to get them, like it needs yeah. that kind of like injection of life again. Do you know what I'm saying? To like actually make you know people like be like, damn, I'm looking for the dopest things. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's my my opinion. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I feel like people will still buy Yeezys, like you know, to like for airports, like sneakers and stuff. But in terms of like the high <laughs> sneakers, airport right now, like, sneakers. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like in t- in terms of like the high sneakers right now, Travis Scott is killing it as usual again. In what terms of. He has, yeah, he has his, like, the dunks. He has the, um, uh, fresh, uh, fresh, help me out. He has the dunks. He has the, the Nike SBs. Like, he has so many guys. That that are, like, like, in terms of, like, people, like, people are dying to get those. And, like, yeah, the resale like, value is crazy. Yeah. I feel like he was also very lucky with the dunks because dunks have now actually come back in style. Exactly. And, like, here's a just man, like, We've never ever seen yeah. like, people do that whole backwards take piece, so man. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. Easy but, needs that kind of vibe again. But that's just a collaboration. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about actually a brand. Do you know what I mean? Like your own brand. Yeah, but Easy and Adidas is a collaboration, though. Nah, easy, if, if Easy left Adidas, Easy is Easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but I'm most Easy anywhere. most Easy sneakers need add um ultra boost from Adidas. You know what I'm trying to say. Those are the ones that sell the most. Mm. Like yeah, Yeezy sneakers on the, on the... That's a modern time. Let's not act like Yeezy one on some LB shit before. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they have been Yeezy... Oh, yeah. Before. Yeah, but Yeezy's... They, okay, let's think about the, the most selling sneakers from Yeezy's. The ones with Nikes and the ones with Adidas. Those are the, Those are the hardest ones. And, and, the ones with, and the ones with Louis Vuitton. So every time Kanye West has done a sneaker, sneaker collection... He needs a bigger name like an Adidas, a Nike, or a Louis Vuitton to back but, it. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but that's like saying, let's gauge the biggest records in the world ever. Oh, yeah, this artist was signed to Sony at the time. Michael Jackson was signed to this. This person was signed no, to No, no, because, because, because that's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not talking about the machine to push the push the shoe itself. I'm talking about the, the source of materials that they need. Like, Adidas needs the boost. Nike... Like Nike needs like certain materials that make the shoe like actually crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't think you're making it sound like they have the material. No, they draw it up and they go and get the material. Nike doesn't own the material. You know what I'm saying? Adidas does not. Adidas owns, Adidas, Adidas owns boost from like. You know what I'm talking about? Adidas, they own the boost technology. You know that, right? Yeah, but when you're wearing the shoe, you're not thinking about oh, this technology is so mad. You're thinking about it's costly. Yeah, what's going on, guy? I actually researched this stuff. Like, if you go on sneaker, like all these sneaker heads. Every single sneaker that doesn't have boost technology, they don't want it. So my question to you is, if he makes another trainer that doesn't have the boost technology, will people not wear it? That's my question. I'm not saying people won't wear it, but people won't wear as much as the ones with the boost. That, what shoes are wear as, people wear it as much or equally? Of course they wear it. People with no, the guys, guys, oh, guys, guys, if, you, if you look at guys, if you look at the chart, which one sells the most? It's the ones with the boost. I'm telling you now. Hmm. I don't have boost in any of my trainers, uh, but <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the Yeezys and guy. Oh, I mean, no, I'm, being, I'm being serious. I'm actually trying to get somewhere. You're making you're making great points. I'm trying to get somewhere. No, I, I'm just telling you it's a fact that the ones that have boost technology in the Yeezy brand collection sell the most rather than the ones that don't have it. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not arguing. Like you're making great points. I'm just saying that if he left. Adidas here yeah, and went um, somewhere else or decided to make another type of shoe or whatever because as a creative, can you will? Yeah. We can but there'll be something, but there'll be, I get what you're trying to say, but there'll be something that draws people to it. Like, let's say it goes to Puma. Puma will have a sort of like soul technology that makes the shoe more. You're know trying to say, well, 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 what was it that doesn't have to have that boost factor or anything like that? that. Was, Look yeah, at what he's doing. Saying, no, 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 I think this is what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. The new Yeezys now that everyone is wearing are so comfortable. The Crocs type style. It has no boost. 
It has no boots for sure. And but it's not fire. It's it. it. not as much as the ones with boots. No, but no, not everyone is wearing it though. Certain people are wearing it. Are you wearing it? I'm not wearing it because I don't like it. Exactly. But does not mean it's not going to sell as much? I'm not wearing it. Yeah, of course, guys. Exactly. Yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah. What I'm trying to say, going back to my main point, is the ones that sell the most yeah. are the ones with boost technology. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we, we've acknowledged that point. You said true. And I'm saying if he goes to a different brand like Puma, he will still need some sort of selling like points, a USP. Like the show has like, I don't know, comfort technology. That will make people want to buy it. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's not just going to go to Puma just for the check or whatever. And no, no. go for the, the check. check line. Sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fresh. <laughs> okay, so these these companies would have the technology, right? Rather than him getting the same what he wants, and then they now sort of develop the technology for him. Is that possible? Now, so should, for... Did they already have it in place? So, so, so for example, like it's like. It's like being in life, like, like it's like being a venture capitalist. It's kind of weird. Like, let's say you have a lot of money, like, and you're like Bill Gates, for example. You don't, um, you don't create everything. Like, yeah, you own, let's say you, own, you still own Microsoft. You don't create everything in Microsoft. You still have smaller companies that come to you and say, hey, look, we have this technology that does blah, blah, blah. And Adidas would then buy it. Do you know what I'm saying? So, for example, Boost wasn't made by Adidas. Adidas would then buy the Boost. Do you know what I'm saying? And now it's part of Adidas. So what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, no matter where Kanye goes, let's say it's Gap and stuff, whatever, he will still need a USP that's going to make people want to buy. Without a unique selling point, even if, if you, even if you're an artist, you still have to have a unique selling point. What's your unique selling point? Yeah, for sure. I'm telling you, fact. Yeah, fair. No, it makes sense. Fair, fair. Do you fair. think then? Do you think then Kanye could um? Is there a way for Kanye to like bypass Adidas and all that? And basically make his own company, get in touch. He does. With he has. He has. He has Yeezy himself. Yo, but isn't it a partnership with Adidas or all these companies? Yeah, but 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 not all his shoes are with Adidas. You know what I'm saying the ones that sell the most. Like I'm trying to make the point is with Adidas, and you just proved my point there because you only know those shoes that are with Adidas. You know what I'm trying yeah. to say that's Nick. We know the other shoes. Okay, what are the other shoes? Uh, uh just three of them now. The Louis Vuitton ones, the Nike ones. You know I'm, I'm talking about the ones, the ones now, the ones now. They all look the same to me now. You see, three uh-huh, three. you see. <laughs> thank you very much. And but, but I've never, I've never had, I've never rocked these in my life. Never for my feet. No, okay, okay, maybe I'll have to tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> exactly, but I'm trying to say you don't know the ones that are just from him. You don't. What do you mean? The one, the one, name a Yeezy shoe right now that is just from him right now, already, like in this era. All red Yeezy, the LV one with the two, three times. <laughs> Kai, do not kill me out there. Talk to us about Drake's new brand. Yeah, I, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Like, Nocta. Like, I was going to even ask Fresh as well, because maybe Fresh knows more about it. So, like, Drake, Drake, very Drake. mysterious. It's like very three, oh. yeah, three stars, like like shooting stars. Like, what is it really about? Is it gonna be a shoe? Is it gonna be like just a, an extension to Nikes? Like, I don't know. I just I want to know what it is to be fair because I like the logo for sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be yeah. to Nike, man. I don't I don't see why. Even with the whole Nike thing, like, I feel like Drake has a lifetime deal with Nike. Yeah, no, for a billion. Let's take that billion dollar P. Mm-hmm. It's, it's got that Michael Jordan deal for sure. And I, I, like, like Cristiano Ronaldo too, Ronaldo too. Like, once it's lifetime, that means that. Who does with Nike the whole time? Yeah, no. God damn. Just day one. <laughs> with, with Beckham and Adidas has to be lifetime. Beckham yeah. will never walk anything else. <laughs> Messi, lifetime. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so basically, but, but you know, so, go 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 yeah go. Carry on, carry on. Now, just so funny how like, but these guys are like coming up with new ways to make more bar. Yeah. So for example, like yeah, your shoes, like for example, like Ronaldo, they saw him like rocking Nike shoes, like football boots, but it sucks for Adidas. That's what I'm trying to say, it's like, but you didn't pay me 
to wear Nike socks. You know what I'm trying to say? Hmm. You gotta pay me to wear Nike. I wear any socks. Like, that is crazy, guy. Or like LeBron would wear like a sweat band that's like Puma. Like you didn't pay me to wear. You know what I'm saying? And it's true. You gotta milk every single like avenue. It's crazy. But yeah, it's wild. Dude. So can we say that Drake? Can we say that Drake is officially signed to Nike Records? Yeah, man. I was about to say Nike for music. sure. For sure, I work an hour over as my guy. Like, cause the guy rocking it. That's the new P, man. Like, my own side. Smack on rocking Nike. Yeah, it's not. He's not just wearing Nike. Like, he's shooting videos in like the biggest Nike stores that no one has. I was gonna say to. that. Yeah, yeah. He's getting, he's getting professional athletes on Nike stadiums wearing Nike. Like, yeah, it's a huge advert. Like, you know what they have paid him for that. Mm. It's more than that. Guy, no, it's not normal, okay? <laughs> guys. Different, different. Oh. That's crazy. I think Drake is untouchable. He's the most powerful guy in the industry right now. And it's been like that for a while. Let's say some, nobody's untouchable. Look at Michael Jackson. <laughs> Drake is nah. untouchable. Drake is untouchable. Nobody's untouchable. Have, have you seen that video of MJ the, 10 times? No phone, no nothing. Thousands just out there. Yeah, just there. MJ had more fans and all that for sure. MJ was a bigger answer by far. People made about this guy. But you know the thing with MJ, yeah. But I guess back then things were different. But all we knew about him in the music business or a business, what other businesses did Michael um, Jackson have? This guy owned fifty percent of Sony. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah, the only did. thing. Yeah, that was the only thing, and that's fire. That the only thing. That's the that's the cold, that's the most gangster move of all time. Don't get it twisted that of course it is. He even, guy, yeah, there's this interview I watched of Dark Child, who's like one of the biggest producers back then. He uh, was on Vlad recently. And I was saying how MJ actually wanted to buy his publishing. So <laughs> MJ was approaching different guys that he was working with, trying to own their publishing. Really? He was that type of artist, for sure, 100%. Now, cool, Drake may not be doing that on the music business level. But as far as, guy, yeah, Drake is powerful, though. This guy, you have a point. You make your point. You said, but as fast, ah, Drake is wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. I, 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 I get that realization. Like, if you look Bro, at only, the only, someone's, of... only someone's pop doesn't really make you powerful like that. Because someone like The Dream, let's even just say he owned like five artists publishing. You won't look at him like he's powerful. No, but the amount of money Michael generated pre death, post death. Yeah, he made a lot of money. Cool. Post death, Drake ain't making money like him post death. You know, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Met around the Netherlands, or what is it called? Okay, so, Netherlands. <laughs> is Drake the, the most powerful artist alive? Right now? Yeah, would you say so? Nah. It's got to be Kanye. Kanye? If you're talking, like, powerful... So Kanye is rich and made a lot of money outside music. Kanye might be a liability to himself, but he's, he's, he's just as powerful. Because Kanye is tension by Drake. <laughs> yeah, but that's <laughs> because Drake is playing clean cut, and yeah. Drake can have every button pushed at any time. Kanye yeah. is literally going to say, I'm going to do shit my way, yeah, and I'm going to still get it done, and I'm going to still be a liability to myself. Yeah. So he's making it harder for himself. Yeah. Do you know what? You know, B. Uh, from Rap Radar, he said that if Drake goes independent, it's going to affect the whole music industry. He's in independent now? He's not. I think he has a few more albums left. So why were they announcing that he's independent? <laughs> so as of last year, he was. This may be, this may be his last album on this deal, actually. Mm. Cash money. As guy. of last year, he was independent. Yeah. If Drake is in. Yeah, imagine controlling your publishing and your distribution yourself. As Drake, I, I feel like what you were trying to say in terms of why Drake is powerful is when that Drake push button starts, like there's nothing you can stop. You can, nothing can stop it. Right. I still don't want to come out the same day as Drake. That's what I'm saying. Even even a Travis Scott would not want to come out the same day as Drake for sure. Travis never was close to Drake. Exactly. Even a even a Kendrick, a Rocky, even Kendrick's even, Ka- even Kanye, the Kanye would think, man. Yeah, Drake, Drake that is, is tough. Is that's why I, I think that's what he was trying to say in terms of that, like the, the amount of like I don't know that push. Like when you push that button, that that steam house with 
It's just too much, guys. Way too yeah. much. It's too much, man. Yeah, guys are just begging for Drake to fall off. He, in no. fact, it would be better if Drake falls off. I'm not so begging guys can free the guy. I'm not begging for Drake to fall off. One, one thing I am definitely sure of is Drake may sign out of this game without actually giving us the classic project. That could happen. That could definitely happen. Even though people can say Take Care Me was written mostly by The Weeknd is a classic. Yeah. The Weeknd, we could tell his influence. Even when Majid Jordan hopped into the whole circle or whatever, I knew when Drake was just absorbing all those Majid Jordan sounds. Once too, done, much. That's too much. That's too much. That started yeah. Majid Jordan's career because I actually love them. Yeah. But now it's too much. Drake from that era. Do you know what I mean? But Take Care, I love Take Care. I actually think that's my favorite Drake album. But other than that, bro, I can't lie to you, man. I feel like Drake can actually just... There's no, there's no, for me, there's never any anticipation towards any Drake project. I just know well, that you, I'm, I'm going to pick my get, four tracks. Yeah. This one where he's rapping on the intro. This one where it's called 4 a.m. and something. Pick this single and pick my two, three, four, and I'm out. But do you know what I feel like this time? Like, because I feel like the last few albums, like Views, um, Nothing Was the Same, like he didn't really zone in on the idea that. I can actually leave this game without dropping a classic. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think those times he was just still dropping because he not just he had to drop, but he had to keep his name out there. And also he, he was in his zone, like swaggy zone, I can do whatever I want. But I feel like this time he's in that bag of I actually need to deliver something that is is worth its its weight in gold for sure. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So what happens when he lets you down? Because we're going to come back to this. Because you are talking as... Yeah, yeah, but you're, 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 you're sounding like it's more of like an 80, 20% that it lets me down. Yeah. I feel like it's a 50, 50%. Oh, no. okay, okay, so let's wait up. Let's wait up. Fresh, I remember, yeah. fresh, I remember you were a so far gone type of guy. You were yeah. so far gone. So that's it. Next step. We can all agree so far gone. Flames, fire, yeah? That's my favorite. Yeah. Game. Oh, yeah. Thank me later. I really loved because it was the introduction to the game. Mm-hmm. We, can, we can all admit that that's a, that's a good debut, right? Yeah, for sure. Good debut, tune with Alicia Keys, tune with Swiss Beats, great, right? Boom. Take care. We can all agree that crazy follow-up album, right? Yeah. yeah. I could be considered a classic even if people think The Weeknd wrote it, yeah? My classic was good, you know what I'm saying? Tune with Rihanna. I was, I was going through the motions at that time in my life. Needed an album, okay? Boom. I right. nothing was the same. Hmm. Can we say that that's a great album? Okay. No, you can't. Yeah. Exactly. You can't. Okay, so let's move past that. Views. Are we saying Views was a great album? But the thing is that he never called Views an album. That's the problem. Okay. So let's for what for for what it's called soundtrack. Yeah. Views a great. Mm-hmm. Project. If you take it's views, not a, it's not a great. The reason why. Yeah. The reason why Views is still memorable was because of that 2016 summer when Controller dropped was a rap. Yeah. If Drake didn't have Controller, and I think Work was even also on that album, those two songs, they didn't come out at that time. It rapped for Drake. In fact, yeah. Because look at the track list. And um, One Dance. Yeah. If one, one, how, how do you have Controller and One Dance on the album? Those two yeah. songs are the album alone. Nothing but that's what you need Nah, and bro, don't forget, but that, no, but don't forget at, at that time, Drake's fan base has gone to a level where he has to cater to so many different audiences. And that's what we've said so many times. Why not why not why not disputing that? I'm just going by project by project, which is which is do you know what I mean? But considered as an album, definitely not considered as a long playlist or whatever they called it. I think it's not as bad as it seems. As a as a long playlist, whatever you want to call it, I just know that. Typical for me at this point in time. I know that there are a lot of fillers for me. It's like my first is in second listen. I could have done with, without it. Okay, let's keep it moving. After that, Scorpion. Can, can we say Scorpion was a great project? Z. Nah, man, no way. Do you understand? No Scorpion way. had God's Scorpion had God's plan. Nah, definitely not. Definitely not. Not a great project. Okay. Um, and I'm just going like heavy projects now. Okay, cool. Now 
let's look at the joint mixtapes. Um, what are the joint mixtapes he had? Is it um, what if you're uh, the, the one with um, future? Are we saying that's a great project? It's not great. I liked it. it was not great. Not great. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, I liked it. I got exactly what it is. Yeah. Well, it's not a. It's like we we can we can agree that it's not a solid body of work. No way. Okay. If you're reading the too late, like, what's that? Is that a solid body of work? Which one? Is that the one? With, is that the one with know yourself and like? Um, if you're reading this, it's too late. Uh, that's what I was right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that one was that bad though. Is that that's what that Quentin Miller was doing the whole ghost writing P on Avi? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, very sticky, man. And I'm and I'm hearing the reference track. I ran it through the six with my walls and wasn't drinking that that line. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, man. <laughs> for sure, for sure, right? I agree. Well, well, I think that's one out of or two out of like well, seven. So we're saying, wait, wait. So I was saying for reading this, it's too late. It's not a great project. That's 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you guys have about nothing was the same? Nothing was the same. What was the lead single or nothing was the same? Nothing, leather, Wu Tang, Forever, Worst Behavior, Hold On, We're Going Home. The I didn't really like, I, I, to be honest, for me, nothing was the same. It didn't really hit for me. Like, I didn't really like Worst Behavior. Like, Worst, uh, I didn't really like it like that, to be okay. honest. It was okay. It was okay. Okay, so, Bias, with just... all the projects that we've mentioned, what you need to tell me is that other than So Far Gone, Mm-hmm. Thank me later. Yeah. Um, take care. Mm-hmm. Since take care, which came out in what year? Since take care came out in 2011, you mean to tell me that Drake has not had a solid body of work that we can all agree on? More like but he's had, but he's had the hits. He's had the hits. Davido has hits. Only has two albums. And uh, that, that has succeeded. It's not as far that you have the hits now. No, no, no. Music, music is in that era whereby you can just drop hits now. But what you're saying is, what you were saying to us was you're saying that you feel like he's in this zone right now. That uh, no, no, I'm not saying that he's in this zone. I feel like he, he he's and I'm he, quite like, to know he has a bad run with projects. If he does, what happens? If he does, he still he's still he's still gonna have one or two hits, and it's still gonna be crazy. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, it's, a, it's a win-win situation, guy. Well, Bass is talking like I got Jay Prince on speed. That's how I can tell. <laughs> I think the drink, I think the drink is starting to wear out, man. I think so too. Yeah, I think so. I think at this point, I'm telling I'm telling you for a fact. You don't see that, guy. Yeah, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, Drake, Drake is this was, bro, really this was like five years ago. That your still mind song by Young Blue will have been number one for five weeks once Drake jumped on it. I played that song and a lot of people still don't know what that song is. Drake will jump Fair on enough. it. That, that's, that's, that's a good point. But I, I, I feel like thing. nothing will happen. What? Nah, chill now. The fact that it hasn't dropped properly. Like, when did that song come out, Young Blue? Yeah, that song came out like sometime last year. And the guy hasn't dropped really like he hasn't he hasn't really dropped in a while. Like all I'm saying is personally, all these kind of guys that are actually go to the game that people like to doubt, they always come back and tell you, chill. That's what I'm saying. Do you feel Drake's album is gonna be trash or is it gonna be gas? Hmm. I think it's gonna be okay. Mm. That's what fresh said. You gotta choose one. Trash or gas. If I don't know, I'll go with trash. Fresh. I think gas if it has mad features. Okay. Because I really oh, like what about you? Again, in talk. Um, I think it's gonna be mainly trash with maybe one gas. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. There's gonna be a little bit of gas, <laughs> but it's gonna be majority trash. I've yeah, been okay. I think all the gaps come from features. There are certain records, yeah. For example, when you want to understand the science of music, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any, every, in fact, any song and every song is a hit. The question is, okay. how many times are you going to hear? And you know, like you have a machine behind you. These guys are signed. They plug things into the system the same way. In today's world, somebody coming and saying, "I have like 
50 million streams. I'm, I don't really care about things like that because we know that there are phone farms around. For those who don't know what phone farm is, they're like a thousand phones and they put the same song on repeat. So oh, yeah. that, at that point in time, saying, oh, I have 50 million streams doesn't mean anything because if I bought 50,000 phones, I could do the same thing. No, he's never given us a product that is 100% him. And nine times out of 10, it has to be your debut because there's no yeah, right. But, like, but what I'm saying is I'm not saying, oh, Drake hasn't achieved a lot. I'm not saying he's not great at what he does, which is pop, which is whatever music he makes. But if we're actually saying artistry, when Kanye is yeah. getting L's, making mistakes and use us, taking yeah. L's, is this else from Jesus that he goes to use in life of Pablo that he goes to use for that Jesus is King album? Yeah. Even JG. Well, so when yeah, I'm talking no, about I... Drake as the artist hasn't pushed boundaries though. Forget controller, forget he hasn't. And hasn't. he's not trying to. Okay, 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 fair, okay. Now this, this is what I want to say, yeah. Fair enough. But to me, this is this is so. That's why I like I like this conversation because this is so comparable to like the basketball game, like where you have LeBron being compared to guys like MJ, which is then compared to guys like Karim Abdul Jabbar, etc. Because Drake is coming in in a different time, guy. He's not going to give you what these guys. Can trying to say? He's not going to give you that same. Well, check this out. Isn't Kendrick coming in a different time? I don't know from the same class. Drake, Kendrick, yeah. Berlin. Yeah, but, but they're, they're, but they're yeah, approaching it differently. Yeah, but Kendrick, you can't compare you can't compare Kendrick and Drake in terms of yeah. numbers. You, you can't. Yeah, Kendrick, Kendrick has pushed artistry more than Drake. I'm not playing numbers. And, and that's what that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying artistry level. What I'm trying to say is you can't compare like someone's type of past the greatness to someone making you feel some type of way in tier six type. Do you know what I'm saying? There's no way Drake has not affected the game on a grand scale. There's no way you can say that. No, Fires, the point I originally made with the adverts and the advert yeah. song I was singing about is that yeah. Jetty's mm-hmm. behind him and Farrell, pa, 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 I'm loving it. They could have put that on a song. And if McDonald's at that time was like Samsung today or was like Apple today and they pushed it everywhere, that should be the number one selling whatever of all time. Because growing up in th- that I- summer, that summer fresh or those summers, we yeah. know what when you just said by that, you know what it is. My point being is Drake has that same machinery for any record. Mm. The boy wants to drop, it will get pushed in, whether or not you like the song or not. But is that he still has to deliver something of substantial quality, yes or and, no? And I'm not saying he hasn't. Listen, I didn't say that's that. no, but that's what you're saying. You're saying that he hasn't done anything oh. of like of the, on a grand scale in the game in the past oh. five. Is Drake more of an artist than let me think. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about artistry. Artistry, you might be right in that. You might be you completely know, right. Look, Kendrick. You, you be, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that like, when it comes to artistry, yes, Drake is not the artistic type where he's going to shoot his own music video and portray something crazy like a Kendrick or well, portray then, something like an ASAP Rocky or a Travis Scott. Lauren well, Hill didn't do that. Exactly, and that's what, and that's what I'm trying to say. Exactly, but exactly, you're comparing Drake in a time where. He had to. What he had to do was literally come in, in kill his features. What What do you mean? In his own time, there are guys that are delivering with him. Complete no, because like this is exactly what they say about LeBron. Bro. This is what they say about LeBron. Like, okay, is is Steph Curry better than LeBron? There are two different kind of kinds of players. Exactly. You just answer your own question. Because they're two completely different artists. Drake doesn't have to do what Kendrick does in order but, to impact the game on a grand yeah. scale. That's what I'm trying to say. But check this out. But check this out. When they look at the mm-hmm. look at the list of best bowlers of all time, he's gonna Curry. be there. He's gonna be in the top ten. Even Steph if some Curry. guys will argue on Steph Curry, is, Steph Curry is not in that top ten. Guys will argue. The guys who know people. Steph Curry is the best three point shooter ever. And you know it. that, right? This is the best pop star ever. No, no guys, that's not. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Steph Curry is the best three-point shooter ever. That's going to still be able to put him in the top 10. You know that, right? Impossible. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because for more I know about people, yeah. and those who know about people can correct me. Larry Bird, Celtic, yeah? Mm-hmm. Magic Johnson, yeah? Yeah. Um, of course, MJ, yeah? 
That's three. But they were not all as accurate as Steph Curry. Oh, you know what I'm saying? There are, ten, there are 10 people that we can name that Curry is not going to be a ball. And I'm only on about three. Well, okay, like who? I'm about three. Allen Iverson, four. Okay, okay, okay. So, well, should I keep going? Okay, so, bro, and I don't okay, so, want. So, okay, okay, I never so, watch people back. I would name guys. Shaq. Okay, is not over Shaq. So, okay, so, so what's your point? That's what I'm trying to understand. My point is that he's he can be the best at three pointers. That's fair. But the original statement I said was. But that's not that's not all he has in his no, itinerary, guy. Break has been made for very long, and it is true. And, and that's impossible. You can't say that. Not because it's impossible. Hate. Okay, that drill track. The point, the point is that Jake is not Jake is probably like in my top five artistically, in, even as artists, Jake is not in my top five. But I know when someone is being is a slave to their own greatness. I know I see it. He's this guy has given you consistent hits where this guy is being compared to I'm not, MJ Level. I'm not denying that, of course, because his numbers are ridiculous. Exactly. Not, so that's that's when you that's when you start becoming a slim for oh, 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 That exactly is not a point for artistry for us. When I say when we say his numbers have been ridiculous, I say exactly that doesn't mean anything to me. Because and that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that he's an artistry kind of guy. I'm saying that he's done what he needs to do in order to be to be respected. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. I respect Drake. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That's, that's all I wanted to know because I, I feel like you saying I feel like you saying he's been made for the past five years is oh, a bit disrespectful. I, no, I like Drake. I listen to him. I love his melodies. I like when he raps, raps. But if we're being honest, Drake has, for example, when he did that drill song that came out, you know me, I don't like it. But we're all going to pretend like it's a mad song. Like, <laughs> okay, that's true. Okay, which one is that one? The one with Heady One. Yeah, it's mid. On, yeah. It's, it's not mid. a bad song. Yep. It's so mid. For sure. Is it, is it the one with Heady One where he's rapping as a feature or the one that he's on his own? The two one, the one I did on Link Up TV Freestyle. Nah, the one that's no, no, the one that is the one that is snowing is that I feel like that one is hard for sure. That's me personally. That's, that, that's the BB one. Generally, it's no, not the not the Habibi one, not the Habibi <laughs> one. The one that's, that is actually like snowing and stuff. That one is hard for me. Uh, and they so, re-uploaded twice on YouTube. But, but the world is going to tell you that it's mad. And I guess not everything... No, tell you, tell you the funny thing is, the world is actually saying, no, it's not mad more often. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Well, I, 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 that, that, I, I think that's true. Now. Or fresh, am I wrong? They're not saying it's not I mad. Feel, I feel like... I feel like guys are waiting to say, no, this track is whack more often than this track is mad. No, in general, people always because like... if you go on like if you, if you go on like academics like page and stuff, sorry, I feel like every single song on academics like Instagram page where they be like, is it fire or is it trash? Everyone always, everyone is ready to knock everything that is trash, everything, even if it's the best song of life. People are more willing to give negativity than positivity nowadays in the music. That's for me personally. Nowadays. So if, if a guy that has been giving you certain bangers for the past five years, and I feel like if you actually go through those hits of Drake for the past five years, I feel like it would be unbelievable in terms of guys have been trying to say this guy is not as good as before. He didn't write this. He didn't do this. But why is he still number one? What I'm trying to say? That question, why is this still number one, should never be put in this in this debate because, like, we've already agreed. We're inside the system. We know how it works. I'm not talking about number. Okay, okay. On a, on a number scale, Drake is probably the best, right, numbers-wise. I don't want to have that conversation because it takes away from everything. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, just numbers-wise, he's probably the best. I can't have that. I can't have that discussion because if we're doing numbers-wise, might as well tell me he's a better rapper than Pusha T. No, I'm not talking about rap. I'm talking about putting out a song and doing the best numbers. He's number one. I can't have that discussion because he's just like a pop. He's like a Taylor Swift. He's like, once he puts it out, he himself, he goes to bed knowing how... For example, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This guy, I don't believe anybody's listening to Khaled albums. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I don't believe anybody's listening to Khaled albums. I don't believe... People, even if they are, I don't believe they are. So you feel like, so now you're trying to say his numbers are fabricated. Oh, this guy, of course. Guy, do, do you know? I'll give you an example. 
I was watching a documentary one time and they were interviewing of Gotti. And of Gotti was talking about the time that Jao them were on TV 2 4. What they did was because they had a lot of street money, they were going to give everybody on the block $20, $10, and tell them to phone MTV or phone the TV stations. I heard and, about that, yeah. And request the jams all day. So now, if yeah, you're looking at the time in your home, you're thinking, I keep seeing this Jaru song on TV. What happens? The song gets in your head and mm-hmm. it helps the song get bigger and bigger and bigger, whatever. Now, mm-hmm. do you think that those games, industry games, stop? Of course not. Oh, it probably hasn't stopped, but there'll still be, there'll still be some discrepancies why it's still number one. Perfect it still example. has a larger fan base than everyone else. The perfect example of this, Fresh. Remember when Khaled, Mr. Positive, yeah. is mad at Tyler. I make albums so people can play it and you actually hear it. You know, driving your car, you hear another car playing it. You know, go to the barbershop, you hear them playing it. You know, turn the radio on and you hear them playing it. You know, it's playing everywhere. It's called great music. It's called albums that you actually hear the songs. Not no mysterious shit and you never hear it. Khaled and Tyler dropped the same week. Yeah. Khaled's budget is probably like 50 million. But that should, that, that should go against your point, though, right? No, no, no. My point, my point is Epic Rock Nation will be the best. Puts all his money, shoots amazing videos, singles with Justin Bieber, Lil Wayne, blah, blah, blah. And who goes number one? Tyler. Tyler's fans go number one. So point being is as much because, as you know, yeah. ma- manually like, rig the system. Okay, so why, so why, does it, why doesn't someone else go number one ahead of Drake, then? Oh, Best believe when they want that to happen, they will make it happen. Drake is the most marked man. They're making money. So for as I'm saying, it hasn't happened yet. I'm going back to your point of him being made for the past five years. Guy, no, he's not been made. He's been more than he's been more than made. If you say he's been like on a seventy percent, yes. If you say he's been on a fifty percent, chill. Five years, how? If you go, if you go, to, yeah, fresh. If you go through the songs, sixty-five. 65 is fair enough. I get that point. You definitely know like 50. Come on. Okay, go to, go to, go yeah, you guys say he has been mid for sure now, but let's see. Like, you can't. Years. He's been 65 above mid. Yeah, okay. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. I'll take that. He's been above mid. For He's sure. Been above mid, but nobody should be out here trying to tell me that Drake's about to release a fire album because of what. So you think it's trash, definitely. I say gas, gas. <laughs> That's something. So it's actually trash, and we all agree it's trash. God, actually, Chloe, I've never been a real huge Chris Brown fan, man. How? Like I've, clicked, I've clicked on so many songs. Trash, I trash. I know you can dance. I know he's talented. I love the um, um, what's that Aaliyah record? I think they know. Yeah. You know, I love I love Fine China. It was my favorite Breezy records. But a lot of times, when I just see Breezy, I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's cold. What's What's your take on that? I mean, are you guys Breezy fans? I'm def- yeah. I would say I'm definitely a Breezy fan for sure. Definitely. Even if I was, even if I wasn't like zoned in. I was still subconsciously a fan. Even when I'm listening to him featuring Lil Wayne, I'm rapping, Lil Wayne slide over here, talk to the just saying, like, I'm still still I'm still bumping the whole song. I'm not skipping to Weezy's verse. Just trying yeah. to say. And I, and I feel like because of that, that will still make me like a fan. Just, it's just crazy. I think he's definitely like even songs like Fine China, you gotta no. give it to him. Like I feel most I feel like is a crazy song. I feel like because of what happened, I know that like everyone still brings it up, not not brings it up, but that whole Rihanna situation that really like curtailed his whole P guy. No, nah, not for not for me personally. Like prior to that, when he was young and sixteen, and God, they tried to guy well, before cancel culture, they tried to cancel Chris Brown. <laughs> they cancel. They tried to say Chris Brown is out of here. For him to still be in game now. Dancing. Well, he, he, tried, he, had to, he had to cry on stage. He had to dance on stage. He had to do a lot to, to win us back. But I uh, remember when he was crying. He <laughs> was uh, I feel like, I feel, like reason, so, I feel like the reason why guys like three, 
I don't really Chris Brown fans like that now because of that Rihanna thing. No! Get, psychological, should I tell you why? Because that was the first time we saw someone who was literally about to be the next big thing in the whole world become so regular and normal. There's a point yeah. where I was a black guy from Virginia. This guy was on some top shit being compared to Michael Jackson after only two albums. Albums, guy. Chris Brown was here. He was getting in trouble, going in and out of jail. Isn't that that what they said about Usher? No, there's always a new guy. They say, oh, No, but the way they compare Chris to the next Michael packaging was a different level now. It was different because Chris Brown was like a prodigy. Like, he was the prodigy. Do you know what I mean? I said already oh, was a kid in the in the nineties and all that shit now. But just to clarify, like I said, that whole Rihanna thing didn't affect me because even when he came when he came out with Run It, I didn't like it. Fair like, enough. I just I just didn't like it. like I was never always when it got tired later on. I was like, okay, cool, it's now fresh now. But when it was it's running the one with it's running with the one with Jules Santana. Yeah, like I wasn't like I wasn't there looking at this guy thinking like. Man, this guy's fresh, man. I wasn't like nah, but you just respected like the like you are you are still in sort of like all of like this guy is singing. I, I, was, I wasn't in awe. Fair, fair. I, I just like, was, like, this guy was doing some crazy stuff. Or... No, I'm not saying like I said, I'm not taking away from his talent. Um, I'm just saying that he was just you know everybody just has someone that they 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 gravitate to. Mm. And yeah, for sure. He just wasn't one of the people that I ever gravitated to. Me. Thru, Thru know, was probably like in a different space, yeah. I know he's mad talented, but yeah, maybe exactly. Maybe I was just in a different space. I just never gravitated. I think somebody put something online the other day about uh, he sounds yeah. like every song. That was funny. Yeah. That's when I think Breezy put up a post. Like, oh, y'all niggas need to stop effing with me, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that to the side. So, yeah, but the like, thing is, because you know funny thing, like, Chris Brown is actually so good because there was a point when he started becoming stale, then he drops fan of a fan with Tiger. Yeah. I was even, a, I, I was a fan of that. Exactly. You had to be a fan because yeah, it was I mad. I love that project, but like I said, like post that, like maybe I'll go into him then a bit more. It's like, but yeah. But I just, yeah. I but, just then, never... but then now look, look, look at how he's actually now evolved to like being able to do a joint project with a guy like Young Thug. I'm he's the, he's I, literally like, he's kept on moving. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that's what the best do. Like, they never stop moving. Yeah. yeah. And even if he's done, even if he's not done it in a way like, like a, I don't know, like a Kanye or a Jay-Z or like anyone else that has done it from a long, for a long period of time. This guy has done it since he was, he's not 16 or 18. What? Probably like 16, maybe even 14, 15, yeah. Still, and he's still dropping. Have you had the, the album with Young Felt um, 3? I heard it now. I'm not sure it's, it's, I think you... it's the same way. It's weird how, like, I never, like, obviously when we were young, Justin Bieber was, mm-hmm. like, a little baby boy. He was only, like, two, three years younger than us. So I never yeah. really knew Bieber. But then when I listened to his album, Purpose, a couple years back, oh, my God. I became, I became a believer. Be- yeah, you're a believer. <laughs> I was like, that purpose album was bro, bro, bro. It was. And that, yeah, is purpose the one? Is the purpose, purpose the one where Craig David wrote one of the songs? I think that's the one with him, you know, on the cover like this, and it's black and white. Nah, nah, my Chris, my say my Chris, my Justin Bieber era was when he had like dreads. He had like the swoop, like the bleach blonde. Where he was he was transitioning to a super swagged out dude that had tied up swag to match. Yeah. But then he cut it all off and stuff. But when he was in that bag, like bro, that was the that was Bieber for sure. Oh. Bieber Belly. Purpose is the one that has um sorry, um, love yourself, them type of records. Yeah. And yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that I actually am more of a Bieber fan than Chris Brown. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Wow. Purpose as a project. Oh, Purpose as a project. It won me over. I was like, damn. Like, and then I started looking into his life and obviously he's Christian, blah, blah, blah. But going to that Purpose album, I'm telling you. Nah, I was a big bigger fan as well. So I know what you mean, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, did you bump it? Of course. What's yeah, your take on album? Huh? 
What's your take on that project? I really liked it, man. I, I listened to it. I'm, I'm pretty sure Ed Sheeran wrote most of it as well, though. Yep. Yeah, definitely now. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I that challenge, like I'm so mad to say that bag, dude, like that just got bad at that point. Yeah. I remember I was like in like when I was in uni, bro. I was like, I kept on saying like dude, this is like yes. challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it was yeah, cool. Second unpopular opinion. Wiz Khalifa has been below mid for ages. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Below for time. For sure. Who's gonna tell him? Sure. This guy, guy let me, no one can tell him. Yeah, you know I'm saying like he doesn't disturb anyone. He's not out. Like because I didn't know he's the only guy. Actually... You know he still does. He still vlogs every week. Wow. Yeah. He never stopped. Bro, he loves his son. He's vlogging every week. He's still repping his Taylor guy. He's... And that's, and that's the point I was trying to make. Yeah, he's yeah. a boss in the game. He's a boss in the game. You the can't tell him anything. You can't tell him nothing. So that, that, exactly, that's, that's literally cool. That's cool for his, And I think it's cool with that. And bro, Wiz, even at his height, he'll still be dropping joint mixtapes with all these guys from his label. Do you get what I'm saying? So he's just very... Yeah. He's, he's a boss in the game. Crazy. Yeah, nah, yeah, he doesn't. He, he, he's cool with that, for sure. Bro. <laughs> Does it upset you when he drops out a tune and let's say I just click on it on Rap Radar and then after like five minutes of hearing song, I'm like, why did I even... Or you just see Wiz featuring Tidal. I feel like... like and it's crashed. Look. <laughs> I, I, feel like, I feel like he's still trying to chase a... Is it like, what song was it that was like a banger? Like, you know, like Wiz has his pairs of dropping, 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 then a black and yellow will come. Then dropping, 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 then a weed and boys will come. Then drop and drop. I think like he's chasing another one of those that's that, gonna that, keep running or, or like one of both. them that was in Fast and Furious Five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Going to ages to come. He needed weed and boys. He needed that song bad. No, he needed he that bad. song bad. What? Weed and boys bad. Ah, oh. What do you think about that ASAP Rocky? Um. Rich nigga freestyle, rich nigga problem song. Yeah, I don't listen to Rocky music. Rocky wastes my time. Like, huh. I feel like I didn't like the song, but there was a bar everyone was saying that he's dissing Travis Scott again. What did he say? Talking about, he said something like, the, the weakest in the room, no, the, the loudest in the room is always the weakest. And then everyone's trying to make comparisons to Travis Scott's highest in the room. I think guys are like reaching, but like, that whole Rocky and Travis thing, like, I feel like they should just, guy, just, I don't know, for me personally, call it a day, make an album called Twins and take over the game like Jay-Z and Kanye are big. There are two different places right now. <sighs> I, I can't well, see any, any type of budget or label that can get those guys to do that. I don't think so. But guys, think, think about, oh, but think about this. Imagine, LS, ASAP Rocky LSD featuring Travis Scott. But Rocky is not that space anymore. No, Rocky can still make an LSD song for sure. He's not in that space anymore. But I'm, I'm not saying an example like that. That, that I think that art kind of meshes. Or is it me? I don't think so. I mean, I'll, I'll listen to Travis um, album or project now before Rocky, man. Like, Rocky's oh, for sure. I think for sure, for sure. Yeah, you know I'm saying. But I think so the thing, the thing, the thing is like when Rocky drops an album like Testing, if you have to listen to it a lot of times to find that banger. Like when guys, when they drop Testing, guys are bumping pretty lot like that. Mas, why am I listening a lot of times to find the banger? <laughs> it's time for that. Sometimes, sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's fun. It's called Testing for a reason. No, but think no, but think about it like think about it like when you listen to testing, no one was bumping praise the Lord like that is the one. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I really, song had 300 million views on YouTube, guy. Yeah, that song was big. Right? I'm trying to say, yeah. It's big. That was a banger. Just, so that, that's how crazy it is. Like, I feel like Rocky's is he's, he's like so like the guy has never won a Grammy. Tyler has won a Grammy. Do you know what I'm saying? Tyler has won a Grammy. Grammy. To win a Grammy that 
Rocky. Even yeah. though Rocky deserves like a Grammy for, for his what? visual. For sure. Does, but sorry, visuals, no way. But visuals, are you crazy, guy? No way. Rocky doesn't deserve a Grammy. <laughs> fresh, 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 fresh. Be careful right now. Be careful right now. <laughs> Who does better visuals than Rocky in the game? I don't Travis. Know. He doesn't deserve a Grammy. Travis, Travis does. Tra- Travis <laughs> does it because Travis. Travis template is based on Rocky's template in terms of visuals. Yeah, but he, he took Rocky's template and then took it to a new level. So can I ask you a question? What Travis video is better than an ASAP Rocky video? Okay, so, what is the best ASAP Rocky video to be honest? ASAP Forever, LSD, um, and uh, Grammy, guys, Grammy ju- 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 jukebox joints, guys. There are too many. He definitely got even Ebro said it on Apple Music that this guy deserves a Grammy for at least one of his visuals, guy, for sure. So check this out. So the what you have to do is the year that any of these videos came out, go and look at all the other videos that came out exactly. in the world that year. Yep. Then now see if he's is the best. LSD it was a mad video. But go and look at all the mad videos that came out that year. Yeah. And I know what video you're talking about. You're talking about Charlie Gambino, this is America, right? Is that what he lost to? That's what he lost to. And that's kind of unfair because at the time, at the time, like a lot of what was happening in America. So there was no way he was going to win that. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like yeah. it's just been unfair. I, I feel like it's just been an unfair guy. Okay. In terms of what, guy, guy, the funny thing is like you were talking about artistic stuff like before. I feel artistic level in terms of raising the bar visually. Rocky is probably the best, or if not the best. Okay, so I no one drops better videos than him, guy. I'm telling you. So, but like you said, you know, um, it has to be the it has to be dropped at the right time, whatever. Okay, so L- was it was it LSD versus Gambino's um, America? Yeah, I think this is America was in the category, same category as. Like best video at the time, yeah. Are you sure? LSD is twenty fifteen. I can't. I can't remember. I can't, please, can you check? I can't remember. There's one video that I think he should have moved on. I don't know. I can't remember. Can you check? This is another topic I was going to talk about when it comes to the Grammys. Like, do you feel now that people are still looking at the Grammys as something of like, wow, it's the Grammys, or people now know that that stuff is rigged, guy? It doesn't make sense. Well, that's rigged. Them now, like, everyone will still want to get a Grammy, bro. Mm. Cause just the highest, <sighs> highest form of. It's award. the same with any awards show. Like if it's Oscars or Golden Globes or whatever. Like everybody knows it's accolade, political yeah. and there's money involved and stuff. But you know, you still want that. You know, on your mantelpiece yeah, in your time, in like, your office. Matter how many times someone pisses in the trophy or anything, people still want it. But going back to what I was saying, there's no way, there's nobody that does visuals that sound. Guy, there's... Of course, there are other people, man. I don't even think... Who? Rocky is not even a Grammy type of rapper. He, he doesn't deserve a Grammy. He hasn't done... Yeah, what you mean? Visually, he deserves a Grammy. Yeah, okay, yeah, he has had some cool creative videos, but he's not... Nah, I won't give him that. He deserves okay, some okay. award or something on like a fashion peak. Cool, but music, music or videos, I don't look at Rocky like that, man. If there was some yeah, type of you, artist, you, fashion type of award, he should definitely be winning all that shit. Oh, Nick, what's that huh? um, hip hop video? I think it's called, is it the Far Sides or whatever? Whereby? Oh, uh, what? Drop. The whole video is backwards. Drop, yeah. yeah. Bias, Come on, and, that? and that was like 93. Oh, was in, like in that. Bro. The whole video is backwards, first. Yeah, and it's all, it, all in camera. But what, what I'm trying to say is there's no oh. video that you can compare to in that same space, that was better. What do you Not mean? about a video that came out in 1992. I'm talking about from 2010 onwards, or 11 or 12, whatever. Well, he deserves That's what I'm trying to say. Before. Well, maybe he doesn't, Sean. Just my opinion. I'm watching Juke Boy Joints. I've seen it before. Nick, please type in Juke Boy Joints on your YouTube. He deserves a Grammy. But this is what I, this is what I'm trying to tell me. Yeah, when I when I saw this, I, I wasn't thinking of Grammy, guy. Okay? But is this what you're trying to tell me? This deserves a Grammy. Uh, okay, okay. So going back to my whole point again. The, okay, so answer me. Does he deserve even, a Grammy? Answer me. This is weak. 
Bias. Yo. What's this deserve a gram? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a normal Even video. Even if it doesn't deserve a gram, it's better than what most people are giving them. Yes or no? No. no it's going to be creative. But your original... Okay, so what video is better? Tell me. You're not, you're not telling me, guy. You keep on... Okay. Guy, I, one thing I don't like is when people tell me something is not good and they don't give me an example of what is better. You also, you also, it doesn't make any sense to me. LSD, LSD lost to formation that year, Sha. And yeah, let me tell you something. I had formation better artistically. Let me tell you something fresh. At that time, Nick, this was Grammy worthy. Bro, l- let me tell you one that's Grammy worthy. <laughs> Type in Leningrad, Kolshik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nigga just out here pulling bases tools. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't deserve a Grammy or not, it's not my own business. But all I'm saying is, Sha, uh, it's kind of cold because he actually puts effort into the visuals, and you can tell. But yeah, he won't be the first. Fifty Cent didn't have a Grammy for that debut that he should have. Nas doesn't have a Grammy. Do you know what I mean? Um, so going back to what I was saying, saying again, what is so it? Why do you care about the Grammy so much? Your boys have answered you now. Bias, if I'm if I want to be honest with you, I think WAP mm-hmm. is better than every ASAP Rocky video. You think WAP? Yeah. WAP. I think WAP, WAP could actually be a Grammy uh, winning video. <sighs> Cardi Fresh. B. Fresh. Cardi Fresh. B WAP. Yeah. Fresh. Don't finish me there. <laughs> this guy, why in an age where women are embracing their bodies like this, the whole thing is just so... Fair, Fair enough. I mean, Fair enough. That... Team, like they'll just win over any of these creative type of videos. I'm telling you. I feel like that's where the Grammy is going to now. Like the messaging of this, I'm telling you, man. Like, I don't know, guy. Yeah, like okay, so okay, so now this this poses the question: Is this about the actual creativity or about a huge budget? About the budget, it could be about the director, like it could be about like whoever the new. So, I don't have to say anything, but you answer my question. It's not about I'm creativity. Sure back, I'm sure back then, I'm sure back then, even videos that used to be super creative would not just win over a Hype Williams video. This kept that win a video for him behind a green screen at, at Brits Awards. Mobile Awards and it's 80 pound video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Jeremy. Because, because why? It was creative. And I feel like that is what it has always been about. So am I wrong? I am wrong, dude. Yeah, one is just about yeah. how positive it is, man. Just too political, man. Like, do you understand? It's not mobiles now. We're just like fair, fair. So that means not about the art, then. Fair. Art plays a small part, I believe, but not. Uh... And by the way, fresh. Hype Williams has no Grammy. Just one nomination. Zero wins. <laughs> All those mad videos from then. He never won any. Wow. This era, that's her name, right? Versus this Thames thing. I mean, I kind of found the whole that, that whole P a bit distasteful from their own, you know, f- very clearly that she sounded like Thames. Yeah. Um, but post all of that. I see them putting tweets out there going, well, she's been putting tweets out there that, oh, apparently she looks like Thames. Her fans are saying she looks like Thames. So she put two pictures of her Twitter side by side. And I thought I'd get out super rise. <laughs> but I also feel like Tim is not even going to acknowledge her, rightfully so. But she's very talented. I was watching an interview a couple of days ago, and apparently she she graduated uni at 14, so she's like a genius. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your take on, on her coming out with this sound, and does that make you look at Maven funny, or do you know what I mean? What's your take on it? Um, You know, Maven have always been... They always know who's next, because they have... um. I think they definitely have like over 20 artists signed. But currently, we don't really know about probably eight or nine. There are a lot of people in the writing camp and all that in their studios, you know. Um, and a lot of them are young as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like she's very good for sure. The EP is very solid. I listened to it about three times. She does have certain pockets and certain songs where it's definitely reminds me of terms like hands down. And that's what should really be happening. Like, Thames has opened a door for this type of sound, for sure. And someone else is just doing something similar, definitely. But um, Tim's definitely not going to respond. I don't think... I feel like as long as this baby is not being disrespectful, we'll be fine. But it also be, it's also kind of interesting just 
seen this happen in the female world. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Usually, it's always this rapper trying to sound like this rapper or this guy stealing punchlines. Or, but now, nah, just like how, okay, there's a new girl, sounds like Thames. Thames will now be forced to try and create something new. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I like that whole, I like that whole dynamic. Um, the girl definitely has a very bright future, you know, very pretty, stylish, good voice, very good voice. Well-produced songs. Yeah, I wish I had nothing but the best, but she definitely reminds me of Thames, for sure. And I just hope, I hope um, with her, they would have to throw her face out a lot more because if they just drop audios, things will get a bit tricky. Yeah. Things will get a bit tricky. There was a yeah. time that, I remember when I first started listening to like um, street, like hip hop in Nige, where I didn't know anyone's name. So like years ago, but I used to think like reminisce sound like CDQ, this one sounds, but also I started seeing their videos, I started knowing who was who. Yeah. Um, if they're trying to break out on some mass market type vibe, a lot of people kind of like, ah, this is, this is a new term song, but I don't know that it's this girl, so. <laughs> that could definitely happen, man, for sure. If that if that was you, how would you feel? Someone just comes and literally just not necessarily bites your style, but just has a lot of your cadence. Yeah, exactly. It's even about biting style. Yep, just that cadence. Ah, I don't know, man. How to write certain words, how she sings it. You know, Tim has oh, that flat sure. tone. Yep. Man, you want that one? She has that flat tone. Very, very, very similar. How do you how do you how do you feel and how do you react? Man, that was a tough one, man. I mean, I have to DM the cat like she relax. <laughs> Would you actually? Nah, nah, nah. I think I just, I don't even know actually, but I, I wouldn't want to work with the with the rapper. And would that affect your relationship with the label? Because what if, like, just in, you know, hypothetically speaking, yeah. imagine if Muiwa had like seen them Jazzy a couple months back, chilled in the studio, greeted him, paid his respects, and then even said, "Ah, oh, let's even play some of our new jams." Yep, and yep, yep. Actually, like a collab with maybe Rema or one yeah. of the artists or whatever, and then this comes out months later. Yeah, I'll be pissed. From afar, without doing that, how does that now affect your relationship with the guys in that camp when they say they want to work with you? Like I said, I will not I won't work with them at all. At all. At all. Because the new artist that has all the focus right now, that you guys are pushing, sounds exactly like my own artist. I'm not going to try and work with you guys on anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nothing. So it's a bit. I one thing I do like though is how she sounds like where we come from. What do you so mean? I open the door even more for someone that schooled abroad or someone who's exposed or someone who's smart or whatever went to school. And someone who's just not making music for the streets, not making music for the clubs, really, or do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how major people like Jazzy them are like breaking these type of artists. It's dope to see because if her first single was like on some over dancey beats produced by Don Jazzy, I'd be like, ah, do you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I like how you know even know she's affiliated with Jazzy. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I feel like that's where the future of Nigerian music is actually going to. A lot of all these. 18, 19, 20 years. That's what they're on right now, bro. They're all just sounding crisp. All just speaking good English and just sounding good. Just good music. You would not even think they're Nigerian. I'm telling you. Even um, one of my little family friends, Damlola, I can't really, she dropped a song with one of her other friends and like, these are like new next-gen people on Instagram and stuff. And I listened to their song a couple, like two days ago and it's hard. And everybody just giving them, just like when we were 17, 18, 19, too, man, we were making music that was fire for our time. And these people are doing it now for their own time. Yeah. And they are better than what they are better than how we did it. Wow. This guy, they know their beat selection is crazy. They're not jumping, they're not doing freestyle, they're making actual songs, structure, everything is there. They are putting this on. And this is this girl, this is her first song ever. I played it on title. <laughs> if 10,000 people do the same thing as me, that is money going to her pockets. That's something we didn't have or we didn't even know about. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and yeah, man, this this next gen, they are very dangerous. So. And this this um, Jazzy's artist, she's 18. Don't play with these late teens. Don't play with them. <laughs> Just bunch. 
from videography, fashion, music, all, oh, just all, oh, just giving them anyhow creative. All these big influencers, possible that, you know, Red Bull is giving them 200K to post this. All these YouTubers getting 10,000 views. They're all young people. All A lot of them too are homegrowns. But this guy, trust me, they're just too exposed, man. They're just too exposed, man. The power of this internet, social media, they understand it very well. They understand TikTok, all these challenges. Yeah, they have their world. Well, they have to because that's what they grow up on. That's what they grow up on. That's what I'm just saying. Like everything just working in their favor, bro. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like a dinosaur sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is me that I feel like I'm up to date. Like, guy, yeah, trust me. You can't can never keep up with these guys, man. The guy, they are actually not gone. <laughs> they are gone. Off. Looks like my push Lalu to compete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have to go to LA, man. I gotta give them one uh, drama school, bro, because that's where it is. I'm, I'm really happy that entertainment has just not frowned upon the game, man. Yeah. Thanks. It was fronted on for too long. For too, too long. I mean, bro, like for too long. Like now, you could just be respected no matter what you're contributing to us, even OAPs. They just have working two hours every week on a radio station, they love their job. They are breaking artists, they are conducting good interviews, and they're happy. Facts. Just now, YouTubers, they have their camera putting their thing. Look at someone like for like every other day, new TikTok video, new just doing their thing, man. Like I love it. I love it. Man. But I feel I feel like when it comes to um this whole like them biting teams and stuff like yeah. that, I feel like at the end of the day, the game is gonna have biters, haters, swagger jackers. Oh, and I feel like for her, she should just she should just take it as you know, as inspiration, showing her she's actually doing something crazy. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. It's not it's not something like someone is trying to like you know throw her off our like off our pedestal or off our lane. Like she just take it as yeah, that's cool. Like shout out to her because if you truly believe in your art, your creativity, that will never ever bother you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But she's biting. Yeah. No, that, 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 I'm, I know she's biting, but I'm saying like. That shouldn't bother her though. That's what I'm trying to say. Bother her. Because, if, because if, you, if you truly believe in what you do, you know that you like, for example, like when when uh, I don't want to use Drake. Let's say but okay, like for example, let's say I we we'll use Drake, we we'll use Drake. Let's say when they used to, Drake used to say, um, oh uh, yeah, it's Drake featuring Drake. Like when you are so into when you actually believe in your craft and stuff. You'll be your your mindset should be more of I can't wait to show them what's next rather than damn man she might take my whole piece. You know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like that's when she just be like, yeah, that's cool. Like kudos to her. Like I'm glad she she, she like even like make it as a, like a joke. Like wow, I'm even glad she listens to me. You know, that kind of vibe. Mm. No, of course Tims hasn't responded to it, and of course, but it's just like Tims herself is fresh off the block. As by in terms of when I say fresh off the block, I mean. That's it's always gonna happen. It's always gonna happen. First EP, three videos out. She's leveling up. So for yeah. a for a major, yeah, there were times. Yeah, there were times when Pop Smoke came out, and then um Fabio Foreign came out as well. And once this guy came, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. But it's it's Yankee, always going to happen. Yankee's a bit different because of how they're structured. This is like, she's fresh off. Tim is fresh off baby EP, three or four videos out, about to ascend into her next. It's, it's the same thing as, as how Pop Smoke came out. True, true, true. And this is a label that has the history of coming through with brand new acts. So, what it is is for this, if it was anybody, if it was another chick down the road, yes, fair. But for mm -hmm. a label that is, this is the same label that brought us Rema. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they have the credibility of bringing us new acts with new sounds for them mm -hmm. to do this and go and bite somebody that's on her way up so that what you can now pump all your money into this try and clash with her and then now do a travel survey carry on mm -hmm. at, 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 at the end of the day that's always going to happen because that's how the game is you can never you, can, you can't stop like i said no you can't say always going to happen because nobody it, 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 most of the time it most of the time most likely happens they most try. of the time, when Maven was doing that, he was savage. There was no till today. There's nobody coming out trying to be to a savage. There's like I always no, say different times, different times, different like different energies, different parts. You know what I'm saying. Nobody so, trying to be Yemi Hold up. 
there was nobody that tried to be a Lolare. There's nobody that tried to be a fresh up me as well. In Niola, what do you say? Yeah, no one tried to be Niola. No one tried to be Tenny. No one tried to be every every female that has come out. That down, down to Tenny. Look at Tenny. No, Tenny. Simi, no one is still like Simi. Everybody's actually in their own lane. So for females, it's been positive for, for each sure. one. Which is why I said maybe this is the first time that there might be a little bit of friction or whatever. But yeah, females are the first time. And so what I'm saying is for a major label, mm -hmm. girl rising up and just come and just do side by side. It's not an accident. It was thought. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like the way they look at the industry in music is the same way they look at the technological industry. They have to give you something that is tried and tested that they know will work. What I'm trying to say. I agree. I'm it, just saying it's distasteful from their own end. It, yeah, fair enough. But like, I, that's what I'm trying to say. It probably is the state of fact. Same way, like everyone to say, "Ah, oh, Travis is." But to me personally, when you when you believe in your own craft, like I don't know when people are saying Rema, like and whiskey, like oh, do you remember those times when I was saying Rema and whiskey? Oh, they sound like Rema. Rema is about to take over. Was then whiskey comes back with Made in Lagos with some new yeah. kind of vibe. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That's what that. should inspire. That, that's yeah. what should inspire you to do much better. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But, but they're different, they're, they're like from different eras. Different. I, I know it's kind, of, it's kind of different, but that's, but that's the analogy I'm trying to pitch. Like, that should make you want to be better. Like, okay, you think, oh, you think you have gotten my sound figured out, right? No. I right, take this. Do you know what I'm trying to say? From her own perspective, of course, from Tim's perspective, she, she would look at it and ideally she would want to level up. She should level up. She should. But, I know, but it's, it, it is annoying. It's annoying. Like, I'm, that guy, there's a amount of times where most like an artist comes up with something that is, was it not um, Jim Jones that said that Lil Wayne took his whole make it rain chorus or whatever that's a little painful for yourself but fuck yeah, it's, it's painful guy you, want, guy you want to really you want to mess someone up because they literally took something you probably been cooking up in the basement for like two three months you know what I'm saying it's painful and then the guy the guy yeah. do it wrong and that's the worst part it's painful but it's gonna happen like not everyone has the same like mindset as everyone else people might like that people might even think they're doing it differently but maybe to the public is the same thing you know what i'm trying to say so like god you get she, how old is the person she's like 18 right yeah i don't yeah, care she's, she's, she's still finding her own sound and everything you know no, no 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 i don't blame her you don't look at mm -hmm. you don't my ep watch her videos and think she's finding her own sound. I don't blame her. I blame... You feel like that's the sound they're giving her. I blame... Yeah, come on, man. You don't use sound to make it. You know what I'm saying? I blame those people that are sat in the rooms with her and I just I just think from their own experience and what they have brought to the game, I just feel like it was a bit... Mm, uh, you didn't have to. That's so, all do, do you know what's so, also so funny? Like, it's a shock you like she can do this now, and then the next single, she'll sound like Amare. <laughs> do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because that, that, that's what some artists, there's some artists that sound like, that are like chameleons, they sound like different people. As, as, as their back. It's crazy, guy. It's crazy. Have you seen OT Genesis' last song? Nah. Yeah, this guy is sounding like young thug, bro. I was yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly, guys. The clown, so that was actually a lot. Oh my god, rolling man. So, uh, so I feel like we should we should give her like like this year to see where yeah. her sound. I won't give her anything. You know me, how I talk about replicas. I don't got anything. Yeah, <laughs> I don't got anything. But yeah. That's about that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Before we go, anyone listening, trying to watch any shows, let me just put you on some, some cool shit. Um, Godless was dope. I just finished Ozark. That was fire. Um, Glamorous Ladies of Wrestling. I saw that ages ago. You want to watch that. Voices of Fire on Netflix. A1 stuff. Um, and currently a new documentary out called Hip Hop Uncovered, and they talk about um, um, Deb, um, who's Waka Flocka's mom, manager, who put on Nicki Minaj, Gucci Mane, um, another guy called Haitian Jack, 
and a bunch of you know old school hip hop legends that that you know that were deep in the streets. Trick, trick, all these other guys. So go check that one out. Episode one's out. Uh, if you watch Grownish, yeah, I'm on that right now. Season three. Mm-hmm. That's about it. You know what it is. Ep three, numero tres. Yes. Fire yes. Three. Is it trash? Is it trash? Nick. Nick. <laughs> Another episode in the can. OAF. Opinions ain't facts. You know the name. <laughs> Spotify. Deezer. <laughs> All streaming platforms. Out now. Apple Music. <laughs> <laughs> Title. The Alternative Network.